Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate the part so that it is identical to what you're looking for. So you can see this one is a um, isometric view going from upper left to lower right. This one is kind of a mirror image of that, where it's going from upper right to lower left. And so when I hit the home button, I really want it to look like this, uh, not like this here. But what you can do is click on these corners until it does look like that, and then we'll redefine what it means by home. So we kind of got lucky on that one. You can click around here on these various corners until it looks like what you want. Then right click on the view cube and say set current view as home and then select fit view. So then anytime you click home, it's gonna come right back to that view. Now, the other problem that you don't often uh, recognize immediately is that this right here should be the front view. It says right. So this is front and this is the right view over here, and then the top is up here. So the top is correct, but these two are incorrect. So what you want to do is, is look at the face that you want to call the front, and then uh, right click on the view cube again and say set current view as front. Then if you go back to home, you can see you get the standard thing where front is over here, right is over here, and top is above just like this. So clicking this, um, brings you back to this identical view. This kind of setup helps when you go from a part file over to a drawing file. Um, so I might do that at the end of this. But the other thing I want to show you is how to put the words through in there for a dimension. So for this one, you can go to annotation and dimension. And we're going to dimension the inside of this one, like so. And you notice it doesn't say through there. Um, also, it looks like it's the text is rotated. But remember to hit tab like that. And then once you click uh, the placement of it, then it gives you the option right there. The brackets is basically saying, hold that number as the diameter uh, 0.25. Then you put a space, T-H-R-U, and all capital letters, not, not that, not Thursday, but through. That tells the uh, viewer that this right here is a through hole. All right, so I think those are the two things I wanted to show uh, for you in that video or in this video. The other thing is I want to now show you that uh, by doing this manipulation of redefining what it means by home in front, it makes it easier for your drawing files. So when you say new and then select drawing, and uh, actually let's select this drawing down here and then hit create. You'll notice now that if, if you insert your base part, it'll actually have the right one in. Uh, by right one, I mean the correct one, the front view. Um, and so if I do, if I tried to put the part in beforehand, it would have shown the wrong view here as the front view. There's also another thing here that I forgot to do on this one is to change the sheet over to sheet B. Okay, and then of course you can grab this and then uh, drag it over to the proper place. But the main thing I wanted to show you in this video is how to redefine what we mean by home and redefine what we mean by front for a part before you begin to make your sketch. And the other thing is, is that how do you add words uh, to uh, your drawing? And that's how you do it up here. There's also some special symbols up here if you need to put degrees or plus or minus. We'll get to that in a separate video. All right, so save this one. Um, as, um, maybe we'll just call it demo. So save as, it's gonna be a part file. You bracket, rotate, I guess. Um, and that is kind of implying um, that we've rotated the view so that now when we hit home, um, it comes back to the standard view that the uh, definer of the problem, in this case, the textbook is asking for. All right, I'll see you in the next video.